get up and do my thing. So the purpose of this event is to have the community come out to see local park, uh, performers perform um, and also to get awareness around HIV and STI awareness. So making sure that they know that every three to six months they should get tested for HIV. A lot of people in our community don't know that or don't go get tested because one, they either don't have transportation, they don't know where to go get tested, so they don't know where are some of the clinics. Um, but here we have the MOCA Center, we have Community Access Services, and we have have Erie County Department of Health. They're all offering HIV, Hep C, and STI testing. So it's a free community. We have free food going on all night. We have free henna, tarot card reading. We have health vendors. And we just want the community to come out and get tested and know their staff. What did you most like about this event? The vibe, the food, the music, just the people, the positivity, okay. empowerment, so what and all that good stuff. Event? It was amazing. It was good. It was an amazing event. What was your favorite part about the event? The open mic performance. The open mic. Yes, that's what's up. Y'all get home safe. Have a beautiful Dr. King day. Y'all like this event? Yeah, it was lit. It was lit? Yeah. What did you like most about it? I like um, when I perform, I like the energy that I got from the artists. When other artists perform, I like the energy that we was able to exchange with each other. Okay. The you scared? Just a couple words about the Shade Project and why you like this event. Okay. One thing I like this event is about, I would say music, maybe. The music, yep. And you say a little bit about the Shade Project. Um, well, I work for a group called the Shade Project, and one thing our name means is sexual health advocates living in Carmen. And we go to, I would say, kind of outreach. Definitely going to events, telling people about the Shade Project, and getting people to get more testing and use a condom. That's what we want to say. <laughs> so why um, are events like Legacy Sound events? sound and effect important to our community? Because we're able to feature a local artists, we're able to work with Dope Collective, um, who, which is a grassroots uh, organization within the community, um, and really get to see some talented young people. Awesome. So is there anything else that you want people who may have not came to know? You're missing a great event. We have free food, great food uh, by local folks and great cupcakes, obviously, uh, by local folks. Uh, so 